What's going on, Read My Lips people? We are back. Back like we ain't never left, baby. So, I know it's uh, it's been a couple days, maybe one or two days, since the mayoral debate has ended. Um, early voting in New York has started. Um, but I did want to touch upon the debate and some, some things I've noticed, some key factors... And just my overall feel on the debate. Now, if you're looking at the uh, thumbnail, um, clearly you can see that I think Andrew Yang won the debate. Now, I use the word won because there's really no true winners or losers in the, in the sense of the word. But I think he performed the best, okay? Um, he came off as the least politician-y. Um, and that's, that's probably, probably my biggest takeaway from, from watching, uh, this debate was everyone else seemed so utterly fake. Wiley seemed fake. Again, it seems like she's full of hubris. She's doing this progressive act. I'm not buying it. Adams, I mean, he smells of politician. I mean, he's like, there was a big ass bath and he just dove in that shit. Like, <laughs> he is politician to the core. Garcia, is she even there? She has no, mm, there's nothing there. Like there's, there's no personality. It's like, an empty slate. Like, I'm actually shocked she's as far, she's gotten as far as she has. Like, when you're up there with these people, leave me with something. Like, she could have said nothing the entire debate, <laughs> and it wouldn't have changed anything. Like, there's almost nothing there. Um, and obviously, Mr. Uh, sexual Assault Allegations, you know, typical politician as well. So Yang seemed like the only guy up there that was relatable, right? That's that's one of the biggest takeaways I got from this, is he so wasn't a politician. And that really resonates with people. People are tired of politicians, right? They want someone relatable, right? Um, so that that's, yeah, that's definitely my biggest takeaway from it. Now... Um, Yang was a lot more aggressive, um, this debate, and it's just, it's so hypocritical. So, Yang was attacked prior because, especially specifically from Adams, um, that Yang, you know, wasn't a true resident of New York and lived elsewhere and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tried to make a big to-do about it, a big stink about it, Right. Now, there's this whole Adam situation where they're wondering, does he actually live there? And Adams is like, I mean, the, the people don't care about that. The, the people of New York, they're not, this is not something they're asking. They, nobody cares about if I actually live there. I live there, but nobody, it's not important. Well, no, 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 no. And Yang did a good job in uh, falling back to that multiple times, right? No. You made a big stink about it when it came to me, but now that there's a light shown on you, you're trying to brush it off. Hello, people. Look what he's doing. This is what you can expect if you elect this guy as mayor. This, this, what you're seeing right now is what you can expect. And I like how he went back multiple times, multiple times to let him know, like, do you see what he's doing? Typical politician shit, right? Um, so I really, I really like that. Overall, they were on Adam's ass the most anyways, right? And it's it's so easy to do. Um, and, yeah, I just, he's it just seems like such an unlikable guy. Um, you know, he made reference to him being a police officer um, and how he put his life on the line. Congratulations. That has nothing to do with me electing you as mayor. <laughs> I mean, that's great. But uh, it's great for you, and I'm, I'm sure uh, you've got some great stories to tell your kids. Um, but that's neither here nor there with me electing you as a mayor. Um, Wiley, the 
progressive. She came off super politician when they when they directly asked her about taking away guns from police officers. Um, every candidate on stage said, "No, no, we're not going to we're not going to de-arm police officers." But she refused to answer. I don't know why she thought that was a smart move. It makes you look poli- when you can't answer, when you evade an answer, when you avoid an answer. It's almost worse off, depending on the situation, than actually giving an answer, right? It makes you look untrustworthy. So if she would have said, yes, she's going to take him away, it still wouldn't have been as bad as refusing to answer. Own up to what you believe. If you genuinely feel like you want to take guns away from police officers, say it. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest. She didn't want to answer, which makes you look smarmy. Okay? Um, and then if you looked, there was headlines. There was headlines about her specifically not answering that. So you didn't you didn't avoid anything. Maybe it's so later on you could be like, well, look, hey, I never said I was going to do that. I mean, okay, that's great then. But as for right now, while you're trying to earn votes, um, it makes you look bad. I think she said, I'm not prepared to make that decision in a debate. What do you mean you're not prepared to make it in a debate? Because you're in a debate setting, you can't give an answer? Have you thought about this at all? I mean, you make the decision you you need to make, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But I think it looks very smarmy when you... uh, avoid that question stringer i don't believe a goddamn thing he has to say i don't believe anything stringer says um when it came to him answering the question about taking guns away from police he said we're not taking guns away from police we're going to make sure which is fine i would have left it at that but then he goes we're going to make sure that we create a police force that focuses on rooting out violent crime and at the same time ensures the civil rights of our young people i don't believe you I don't. I don't believe you and I don't believe Adams when it comes to that stuff. Um, When Captain Garcia spoke on um, that there's been an uptick in anti-Asian crime. She also threw in there's been an uptick in anti-Semitism. Okay. All right. While this may be true. While this may be true. um, It is okay to stick to certain subjects. It kind of goes back to the all lives matter motto, right? Everyone is aware, in theory, that all lives matter. But it is okay to step away and say, all lives matter. Right now, I'm going to focus on these Asian lives that I see in an uproot in an uproar, uh, people being targeted and attacked. It's okay to step away and we'll focus on these African-American issues, this, the, the, the attacks, the crimes, the shootings. I'm going to focus on that for the time being. That is okay. That's okay. I feel like people sometimes, people sometimes get in a place where they have to mention everyone so everyone's not offended. Yeah, Asia, but then the anti-Semitism, and then... But then after, okay, it's okay to tackle one thing at a time. Very, very rarely can you tackle everything at the same time. When you try to do that, shit doesn't get done. Um, So yeah, there's been an uptick in anti-Asian hate crime. You could have focused on just that. But yes, there also has been an uptick in anti-Semitism. They spoke on mental illness. They spoke on homelessness. I mean, look. It, it's definitely much different than what we were getting, you know, a year ago with the um, the Trump debates and, and stuff like that. It was it was it was definitely a different feel, right? But everyone up there, besides Andrew Yang, smelled of a politician. Like the stench was rank on them, and um, I think that's going to resonate with people. When they see Yang, 
um, that he is like an everyday guy, right? That cares about your problems, that you're about your issues. Um, I don't, I, I barely believe anything the other people up there are saying, if we're being quite honest. Um, you know, I don't think Wiley's necessarily a bad person. I really don't. I don't. I don't. But this, I think you're feigning uh, this progressive act because you think that's where it's going to get you the votes. But I don't, I don't think that's what you are, right? You may have some progressive policies, but I don't, I don't, I don't think all in all you are a progressive. Not, not, not what you're, tr not what you're projecting, right? And again, Eric Adams, absolute trash. Uh, I think I have a quote. I think I have a quote from Yang. So, Adam says that um, his primary residence is uh, in Bedford, right? Um, in Brooklyn. But he also owns a co-op with his partner in Fort Lee, New Jersey. This is what he's saying. Yang said, Eric, unfortunately, has not been straightforward, but has been hypocritical. And Adams has been Yang's most persistent critic, um during this mayoral run he spent months attacking me for not being in a button for not being a new yorker meanwhile he was attacking me from his home in new jersey um and I, i'm i'm so happy yang uh nailed on that because it's it's true it's true and then adams oh no people don't care about that so yeah not not a long video just my thoughts on it um, how do you guys think the early voting went? I think um, I think uh, Nerds for Yang uh, was doing a video or today uh, he did a video on um, how the early early voting went. Um, so I, I, I'm going to take a look at that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I was seeing. But how do you guys think it went? What did you guys think about the debate? Again, I think Yang came out on top. I don't know how this is going to affect people's voting. I don't really think debates, um, for the most part, change people's mind on voting unless somebody hit it out of the park, right? Um, unless somebody hits it out of the park or somebody really drops the ball. You'll see a decrease with them. Um, if somebody hits it out of the park and they're nailing every question and they're getting quotables where you can come out with a freaking t-shirt from what they're saying during the debate, You'll see them uh, rise up too. But I think in this scenario, nothing really stood out all that much. Um, again, but if we're going to you know, judge who did the best, I think it was Andrew Yang. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the debate. I'm very interested to hear what you got to say. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you tuning in. Also, if, you, if I missed anything about some of the hypocrisies from what the candidates were saying... Or if any of the candidates said anything that you just found absolutely gross or annoying, let me know in the comment section below so we can talk about the shit. <laughs> uh, so if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. If you don't, let me know in the comment section why. I'm always down to talk about it. I have a Cash App, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Patreon. Please feel free to donate to the channel. Every little bit helps. Hopefully I'll be talking to you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace. I'm feeling high, but sometimes I'm feeling low I wanna stay inside, I could call my bed my home I've been trapped inside my mind, that's what keeps me in the zone I think that I'll be fine, but I do not really know Yeah, It's too late for me, not too late for you To be great, you see, the pain's worth the truth I don't wanna be just someone that's new I speak my mind so free, so you could hear the truth Yeah, I know that we all have fear In the back of our minds we hear The devil that's in our ear 
Let it push you to see more clear I don't wanna think about the pain no more Everybody's not the same We all open different doors Yeah, we've all got different brains That's what keeps starting these wars I just stay within my lane Hope my words even score I just try to keep it